yeah. people there. Yeah, you you probably felt medicated then. Oh, I was like staggering down the hallway. I like I I was drunk, and as soon oh, as yeah. we left, mm-hmm. I was fine again. Okay. Wow. That's and scary. like if you know if you're pretty open to this kind of stuff, and if you're an empath, for sure you're gonna feel what yeah. that mm-hmm. spirit or those spirits were like. Oh, they're probably just you know. You know, at that time, yeah. I wonder what what year they were all held there. I mean, there was not much for treatment, really. I mean, other than Medicaid, mm-hmm. right? You know. Mm-hmm. They probably did, they did shock and well, we heard they did lobotomies in the basement. That's a little unnerving. I uh, really yeah, they, did they really? Yeah. God. <laughs> God. Such a horrible thing. There's not a good success rate with lobotomies either, from no, what I've heard. That's horrible. So yeah, that's not good. God. But yeah. uh, wow, like just yeah, amazing stuff. Like, and that's why again, you know, we like to talk about this and talk to people and. Um, like totally like i mean this stuff happens and it's connected mm-hmm. to something you know it's kind of nice to bring it to light and people understand have an understanding i guess we want to make sure people have or can take away an understanding of it and not the judgmental part right you know that's right that's kind of like how we look at it so and share with other people because other people have stories everyone has a totally. story at some point right yeah, you know yeah if you i'm not sure if, how many of our episodes you listen to and, and that's cool like whatever but there was a really really cool girl in Gimli that we spoke with a really nice lady we spoke with her and uh, she actually had so many experiences she put together a group for one night and it was for people to come out and talk about their not necessarily just in Gimli but to like just talk about their, their experiences, experiences in general. you know yeah. go to a place where they have people nice. of like-mindedness because mm-hmm. There's a lot of people that don't believe in this stuff and then boom, it happens to them. And I think they're so critical of themselves. Like, oh my God, I can't tell anybody. They're going to think I'm a loon. You That's know? right. Yes. Yeah, and know. Yeah. And then you go to a place like this and she said, I guess they were looking uh, for 12 seats to fill 12 seats. She says it was standing room only. There were so many yes. people that came out and it's like, kudos on you. Like, I mean, what an amazing experience that you could actually provide that for people, like a place, a forum for people and it's almost yeah. like a weight's lifted off their shoulders you know like, oh for sure to mm-hmm. share yeah yeah very cool I'd, I'd like to see that more in more places mm-hmm. if, if podcasting yeah. made money we would do that in more places yeah. and just <laughs> you know have like an, an open house we night you know in person and show our faces then though yeah even though now there's like social that. distancing so that's going to be a while oh that's right no, I'll yeah. be screwed. can't yeah. plan for anything nowadays yeah mm-hmm. Judith, no. it's Judith. That's Judith. Her name. There yeah, we go. I had to. Thank you. Good Google it. Yeah. Thank you, Judith, for telling us that Gimli story. But um, yeah, she's very open, very honest, and she says she's at a point in her life where she doesn't give a shit. You believe me? Or you don't believe me? So, that's right. Yeah. Good yeah. for her. Yes. Yeah. So that's what we do, and we thank you for your story. And uh, yeah, very cool. Poor little girl, though. It would be kind of nice yeah. if somebody could try and give her some release or relief or something, though, eh? Yeah. You know? Right. Poor little thing. Yeah, I didn't. But, I didn't know if I should try to, like, I didn't know what else to do. Yeah. No. What do you do though, right? Like, I mean, one yeah. other time I pulled into the driveway and I kind of felt her. So I said, "Sweetie, go home. Go into the light. You know, go be with God or Goddess or whoever or whatever." And mm-hmm. so then I walked into the kitchen with the groceries and I said it again. And then I was like, "Who are you talking to? Like, she's not in here. Like, I felt her in the garage. Okay, but not so there. I just really? don't know what that was about, but." That was it. I never saw or heard or felt her again after that. Hmm. That was it, eh? How long did you live there for? Uh, We lived there for probably seven, eight years. Okay. Okay. Like, I I just moved out of there three years ago. Okay. Okay. So you were there long enough that you would know she's there or gone. Yeah. Yes. For sure. Yeah. Well, that's good. I hope she's home. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you wonder how long hauntings can really, like, residual and hauntings, you know, can go on for. Like, you wonder. Like, I mean... Who knows? It's, yeah, it's just... And people don't even know that they're gone, so they're just continuing their routine. And they don't know they can leave. don't know they have a choice. Right, day after day. But, like, maybe maybe in her case, she refuses to believe she's gone because she's still looking for her dad. True. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. That's so sad. Or until someone acknowledges them. If you go around and you're doing the same routine day after day and no one freaking acknowledges you, mm-hmm. maybe it just takes one acknowledgement before you're like, okay, I get it now, you maybe, know? yeah. Who knows, really? Like, yeah, yeah. don't know. Yeah. Just like, you know, we've said it before and we've heard it before. And I, my favorite saying is paranormal, like ghosts and spirits. It's just a science that they haven't discovered yet. Yes. When I hear of new, a couple weeks ago, 
I found, I think it's a hoax. Did you look at that, Sherry, again? The Huff Paranormal, the spirit box? Did you look oh, at that? Oh, yeah. I looked at that, wow, yeah. Wow, that just blows yeah. my mind. Like That one is kind of creepy, that one. That one's very specific. But it's so specific, yeah. Like I know. If you know, you know, um, Melinda, like what a spirit box is, right? Where they communicate on signals and yes. frequencies, right? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. if you ever got time, it's a little creepy, but look up Huff Paranormal on YouTube. Somebody okay. supposedly made a very updated spirit box. It's very crude, but I guess it just uses um, a higher level frequency. And supposedly, so this is where the critical or the yeah. uh, skeptical, Who knows, right? not optimistic yeah. skeptic at this point, it's yeah. skeptical optimist, um, yeah. because I really want it to happen. This guy will ask questions and supposedly a spirit will actually answer in sentences, not just yeah. one word here, Ooh. one word. Yeah. Right, yeah. We're talking like Instead three to four like, word sentences, and it's so clear. And I'm like, shit, I hope that is real because that's yeah. just amazing. I can't even watch those shows on TV because I know <laughs> now that I know it's real, I'm like, nope. Yeah. You don't want to know. I don't, I'm good with yeah. not knowing. I'm like, now. okay. No. That was pretty cool, though. Yeah. I, I would like to see if it actually works because, I mean, it's all radio frequency, right? I it mean, is. we're getting into the 5G stuff now, so well, who you know, knows how many radio frequencies are there, right? But I think if they're going to pick up, if they're going to crack that code, it's going to be with an uh, an updated spirit box, for sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I said absolutely. Oh my god. There you are. Thank me now. Basically, and like I was saying to Sharon, I'd mentioned on a couple episodes, I did actually meet a fellow around Christmas time through a, a Christmas party, like a work party or whatever. And he's actually working on, he's an engineer of sorts. He's actually working on developing a spirit box. Well, so, get his ass on the show. I know. Like, I'd, I'd like well, to see where he's at with that. Well, yeah. Not in my house, though. Um, no, not in mine. We'll just go to some other <laughs> random house. We won't do it anywhere near us. But I would like to see it, though. I think I have enough lingering spirits around. I don't really want to yeah, talk no, to. Yeah, no, you don't so need to, no. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. No. Yeah, that's funny, but... Yeah, so that's our shtick, and we appreciate, you know, you coming forward and telling us that fabulous story, like that poor little girl, and it's just, just amazing. Like, just, yeah. hopefully yeah. she gets resolved at some point. Yeah, thank you so much well, for thank sharing. thank you so much. This was so fun. Well, thank you. And, you know, when this whole, this self-isolation stuff is over, like, we still want to do a road trip to Brandon, because there's so many wonderful stories out there, and we want to... Maybe we can all meet there. We can meet up. That'd be fabulous. Yeah, yeah that, would that would be, be. so be. good, yes. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Excellent. Okay, well, thanks, Melinda. Stay in touch with us if you think of anything else. I and, sure will. Uh, we appreciate you listening to us, for sure. Yes, thank you okay. so awesome. much for sharing. Have a great night. All right. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. My hand waving. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I can't find my hand waving. Well, that was pretty cool. It was nice. Very nice. So, that was excellent. Though. That was I Melinda. Really that. that was, was very nice. She was. Sorry, I don't mean to... You know, that's why we need to look at each other, because I, I don't want to talk over you. I know, but... Down. There see? you are. Damn it. There I am. Get off your head. Can you see me now? Hi. Hi. See, now this is that whole self social distancing thing. Like, I'm sure she's got no cootie diseases and I got no cootie diseases, but we're playing it stay safe and we're staying the fuck at home. That's right. That's how that goes. That is. That. Well, I'll put you back up here so you pick up on the mic a little better. <laughs> Fine, I'll put you back over there. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody puts baby in the corner. They no. put me on the ceiling instead. Nobody puts baby on her back to stare at the... Oh, wait. Maybe they do. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know. Bones May the fourth be with you. That's good enough. <laughs> but, yeah. So, that was Ghost Girl from Rapid City. Well, Melinda's not the ghost girl, but she had no. first-hand experience with the ghost girl. Which is really cool. From Rapid City. Didn't know about that one. No, did not. No. So once I edit this sucker all up, and we'll post pictures to go with it, because those are pretty cool. And, they are, yes. Yeah. And, you know, thank you to everybody listening. Share. I wanted to tell you before we got started, but we got started as of today, which is, um, what are we calling it? We're calling it Wet Your Whistle Wednesday. That is it. Okay. Yes, it is. So, drum roll. We had 84 downloads today alone. This is good. Yesterday was 40, 43. The day before it was 128. Oh, no, sorry. That's, that's 90 right. today. It was 90 today. That's right. Holy shit. Holy shit balls. Weren't we, just, weren't we just saying, oh, yeah, we got 101 day? Not too long ago? Yeah, it was like a couple weeks ago we had 100 in a day. Somebody from Surus, I think, was um, binging this morning. Surus, who Oh, there we you? go. 
Who are you? Binge away, people. Binge what do you want away. with us? And uh, contact binge us. Away. That's right. Yeah, you must want to. That's right. Please do. Mm-hmm. If you like us, we're harmless, sort of. Our family, we are pretty harmless. Yeah, our our harmless. families wouldn't describe us as harmless, but they don't Definitely count. Definitely not. No. No. It's all about that's, you that's guys. Okay. That's right. <laughs> so give us, uh, email us with your stories and anything else that you want to discuss or mm-hmm. whatever at. Give me up the ghost podcast at gmail.com. Excellent. So <laughs> wait, school's out. School's it is. out. There we go. And on that note, remember to live every day like it is your last. I never